family. What's going on? Today is Monday. It is, I want to say it's the 20th family. I don't have my phone before me, but I'm certain that it is the 20th of 2012. And um, I am getting ready to get started for the day. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do today. Um, first, let me take my little vitamins and things. So this right here, family, this is that spirolactone the doctor gave me. It's for regrowing your hair. It works really well. So I take that. I also take the hair, skin, and nails. Um, the serving, I think, is three of these. But what I do, instead of taking the whole three, I take two of those. And then I take a Super B Complex. Because a lot of your hair, nails, and skin stuff is a lot of B Complex. Uh, vitamin, thiamine, and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, I just take one of these to go with it. What is the serving size of this? Yeah, because on here is just take one daily of these anyway. And this is just a super B complex, whatever. And I have the Splash Berry Blend. So, anyway, <clears throat> y'all, how about I had a good weekend. I had a real bomb-ass weekend. Hold on. Mm. Anyway, um, I had a really, really cool weekend. My auntie had her function, and it was so cool. I had made all the stuff for that I'm sure now you guys can see. And um, it was good. Yesterday, me and Kim, we, uh, we just laid around. We laid around. We didn't do anything. Um, Saturday was really, really busy. I didn't go get my shot, though, so I am going to go get that done um, later on in the week. Um, I have some um, um, some other little stuff going on, some other little treatments that we're going to get started on this week. I'm getting a detox, full body wrap, dress, like a mummy. You know who had that? Um, if you guys remember on um, the Atlanta Housewives right before, was that before she got pregnant with, with the baby? Kim had a body wrap and she was mummified. Anyway. I'm going to get that, and I'm also getting some thermage, like um, some, uh, it's like um, uh, endermology. It's like, it's like, you know, for cellulite and stuff, you know, Vela Smooth, that type of stuff. So I also am going to start that. All of it is pretty much the same. It's, it's, it's for dimpling and, you know, cellulite and such. So um, we're going to start those, start those series, that series, perhaps this week this week um, I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow with my um, primary care physician um, I know you guys were a little bit um, concerned about my period and such um, let me just reaffirm you guys and reassure you guys that I'm really fine um, I have internal things but that's more you know gastric type of stuff but as far as my feminine organs are concerned um, Last I've known, I've been fairly healthy. My um, memo came back good. My pap came back excellent. So it just is what it is. I'm not pregnant. Um, I do have the Mirena. The, a lot of you guys know that I have the Mirena. And I've been having it for years. Years, okay? And one thing about the Mirena, which is the IUD for those of you guys that are like, what are, what's a Mirena? Especially the fellows that watch me. I know you're like, what the fuck is that? Okay. Well, a Mirena is an IUD and it's like T-shaped like that, okay? And it has like a little extra string that hangs and it gets, when they put it up in your cervix, it just, you know, because it's, it's like a T. So once it gets to the, dun, 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 you know, inside your cervix, it look like that when it get up there. Okay, well, anyway, the, the T, one goes to each side for your fallopian tubes, and then you have, like, a little string that just kind of dangles down. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I know a lot of brothers would like to know, does your man feel that string? Uh, how can I say this and not be, uh, it depends. Let me just say that. It depends on the position that you're doing. And it also depends on whether or not a man is well endowed. 
A man that's well endowed, yeah, he can feel it. But if you ain't working with a whole, whole lot, then you probably won't feel it. So I'm just going to leave that shit alone. So anyway, so yeah, uh, so that's what I have. That's the reason why my period is thrown off. And then um, after having the marina for a while, you your period, you know, it ceases. Or it'd be so light, or the days would be so, um, you know, the duration is so slow, and then your flow is so minute. That's what it done for me. Now, before I got the Marana, I had the Paragard. I told you guys that before, but it made me bleed for days and days and days. And so the doctor took that out and gave me the Marana, and I've loved it. I have nothing but all stars all the way across the board. Holla. So I ain't got no complaints about that. But no, your girl is not pregnant. So we ain't on that gullah gullah. We ain't doing that. Um, anyway, I just watched uh, Wendy Williams, y'all. How about I'm loving me some Robin Thicke? Now, see, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've never played in the snow. You know what I'm saying? If you get my drift, you know. I've never been there. But, oh, my God. When I looked at Robin Thicke right there, he just done something to me. He made me moist. You understand what I'm saying? A little condensation. I was checking him out. I was like, oh, okay. Robin Thicke is fine as fuck. I ain't never really looked at him like that until today. But goddamn, I was looking at Robin Thicke like, okay, now that might not be. Maybe we might need to take this shit through. You know what I'm saying? Holla. So, yeah. So, I was watching Robin Thicke on Wendy, but tomorrow Wendy is going to be fire because it's going to be Lisa Ray. I love her. That's my girl. And that's all I'm going to say about that. She's going to be on Wendy tomorrow and um, uh, Nini, I think, is also going to be on Wendy tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. My doctor's appointment is at 940 and I'm going to be skedaddling up out of there so I can make it. Go get me some uh, Chinese uh, um, barbecue uh, pork fried rice and uh, I'm going to be at uh, my baby's house posted up chilling and kicking it and watching Wendy on tomorrow yeah now next I'm sitting up here watching Maury Povic y'all and how about it was this girl up here it was just so sad you know it really really was and her husband at first I thought he was just a jump off you know what I'm saying and she was a big girl you know she was a big girl big neck and all that you know and um her husband you know he lied on all accounts and that's fucked up I'm sitting up here watching this shit right now and you know and it's just so sad how you know men you know they do things and, you know, they want to call us crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we're the ones that lost our motherfucking mind when we blast off on them. And it's just so sad because I've been there and done that. I've been there as a bigger woman. I've been there as a smaller woman because I was smaller than this. Okay? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a good maybe mm, 30 pounds bigger than what I once was. Because after I had was really in my player's weight, I was on deck. I mean, bitch was, like, stacked up. Like, I mean, fuck a, a brick house, bitch was, like, a two-story. I mean, all my shit, nigga, was a tri-level. All my shit, bam, 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 bam. Bomb. All the way down to the ground. Everything was on deck. That was, like, in the beginning of my 30s. Don't play with me, shit. Okay. I'm cool, though. I'm cool at where I'm at, though. I, I mean, I'm, I'm straight with what I got going on right now. It's, like, a little bit of little things that kind of bother me, but for the most part, I'm cool. I ain't tripping on my weight. <clears throat> Like I once did. I mean, it's like, as long as I'm healthy on the inside, my blood is, is cool, my uh, levels are straight, I ain't teeter top, no, no diabetes, no high blood pressure, no cancer cells, no nothing. I'm cool, you know? And as long as I have all my limbs, I mean, there's so many other things to be worried about in the world than to just be concentrated so much on the aesthetics, you know, the outer appearance. And though... Um, there's times when I really try to corral that because, and I don't want to just put it on a Virgo thing, but most of the Virgos I know, we all kind of like, you know, we just like to look a certain way and just kind of, you know, but then sometimes it can be a bit much and sometimes people don't dig that and don't like that about us because it's like, man, you know, we always own or at least try to be on half the time. And for me, I don't, hold on. And for me, you know, um... You know, I just, I, 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 I've struggled with self-image for years. And for the longest time, even as a small kid, I always thought that it was me, that maybe I wasn't pretty enough or 
or small enough or whatever the case for the things that were transpiring in my life, the things that I went through. I always felt like, okay, if I looked a certain way, if this, that, and the other, then I wouldn't be, you know, having all kind of issues and problems. But, you know, still, even when I got extra glamified and got extra cute, um, I still had a problem. And even when, you know, um, I was dating a musician, it didn't, it didn't make it no better. It was actually worse. Well, I won't say it was worse. Let me not say that, baby. I'm not going to say that about you. I won't say that it was worse. I will say that, you know, you, you definitely got to stay up on your A game because you got to know that these men are, you know, a lot of women is checking for them, you know, and so it's kind of rough. When I was um, talking to uh, the athlete, you know, the only difference, let me tell you guys, let me tell you ladies one thing. You know, the more money a man got, sometimes, I won't say all the time because I know somebody's going to say, oh, not me, not me, not me. But I'm telling you right now, the more money he got, the more arrogant and the more, oh, my God, they could be something else. And don't let him have no little following and bitches is checking for him. I don't give a damn what you look like. They still feel like your ass can be replaced. Even though they can come and say, you know, how much they love you and blah, 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 blah. Even still, the back of their mind, bitch, what you won't do, uh, this other bitch over here will more than likely do it. And it's just a sad situation. It's really sad, but it's true. And, you know, they just cocky as fuck. And I'm just glad that, you know, the, the, the man that I'm with today is just a regular dude. He's not in the industry. Kenny ain't got shit to do with the industry whatso whatsoever. He has him a regular little job. You know, he's not, you know, he's he's going he's he's not, you know, well off and all those. He don't he don't have all those other things going on. And so and it's cool for me. You know, I dated a white collar man. My husband is white collar. My husband makes a decent uh living. But, you know, he's Tony is very, I'm, I'm very extroverted and he's introverted. And so we're like a yin and yang. And I guess that's the reason why we're so close. And that's the reason why, you know, we've, you know, dealt with each other so long is because Tony's a Capricorn. I'm a Virgo. So it's like, but our businesses, when we come together on some shit, it's only popping because he's the brainiac on it all. And I'm the one out there in the forefront. So it works for us. Kenny, on the other hand, he's a Scorpio. I'm a Virgo. We still mesh very well. The sex is off the chain. Did I not need to say that? I really didn't, but fuck it. I done said it. Off the chain. I mean, we match and mesh very well. Very well. So, anyway, enough of that shit right there, too. Um, family, I did get my new mixer. Tony took me on Saturday. Even though I had so much shit going on, y'all, I was trying to get it together. I had made my kids some tacos and stuff. You know, though you guys, I'm um, sure about me, I done seen all the shit I cooked for my auntie's get-together on Saturday. But still, I made tacos and a full taco fest fiesta dish, you know, for, for Tony and the kids and stuff. And so, um, they went to a baseball game Saturday. And so, um... You know, I just had a lot to do. But even before he took the kids to the baseball game and stuff, he took me to Kohl's. Family, he took me to Kohl's. Let me tell you. Oh, this ain't it. I thought this was it. He took me to Kohl's and bought me my KitchenAid mixer. Um, I will show you guys on One Sexy Tina 2. I will probably premiere that maybe tomorrow or probably later on tonight, depending on how things are going. Um, you know, uh, and I love it. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys the color and all that other stuff and all the little extras and all that stuff with it. I will premiere the whole thing. So probably, perhaps maybe, if not tonight, then tomorrow, I don't know. Sometime this week for sure because um, I am going to do a lot of cooking for that channel um, this week. Um, prepare a few dishes um, as well as some um, desserts um, this week. So, yeah, I got to get on that. On this particular channel here, though, my main pur purpose and focus is now is to get uh, uh, Beauty Queen Kia her package off this week. I need to get that out of here this week. Um, what else is going on? 
my kids' last day of school was Wednesday, so they're looking forward to that. Um, I was asking Anthony, was he going to take any summer classes? Um, and so he was like, Mom, I really don't want to go to summer school. I really kind of just want to just kick it in. And, you know, I know this, this, this semester my baby had a heavy load. Um, you know, he had psychology. He had A&P. Um, oh, my God, he had geometry. He had some serious, his caseload was heavy. And he passed with flying, he's passing with flying colors. Let me knock on wood. Because the last time I checked, I, I got to, you know, stay up on it, you know. Because though he is 15, he's in a world now of adults. And, you know, it's like, you know, I still got to remember that my baby's only 15. You know, and so, you know, so this summer we're going to work on a few things. Perhaps even start trying to get him a car. So, yeah, so we might try to get him a little bucket or something for Christmas. No, I can't get my baby no bucket. Don't even let me say that shit. For those of you guys that live on the East Coast, a bucket is some raggedy shit. That's one of them $500 cars, some cars that cost less than 1000 Can't do nothing but get you where the fuck you got to go. And about a month after that, it's, you know, it's a wrap. No, nah, I can't get my baby no bucket. I need my baby in something that's safe. That, you know, that's precious cargo. And I am not going to put him in no bullshit ass somebody else's problem. Fuck that um his dad was asking him over the weekend on what kind of car he wants and so he was saying that he wanted um honda i mean excuse me not honda um he was uh i think it's a ford it's like one of those smaller suvs and they got the sunroof in the front and in the back i've never seen it i'm sure i've seen it on the road but i guess i just never paid no attention but he was kind of mentioning that to his dad and then he gonna bust him and gonna say um i want a charger I said, boy, if you don't get your ass out of here, you know, I mean, I ain't got Nene Leaks money. Not yet. But, you know, I don't have that to just be uh, down there. And I'm just being honest. I'm not getting ready to go down there and go buy this boy no charger and he's 15 years old. I mean, I, 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 I ain't, I ain't none of them. You know, I mean, I, I, you know, he knows that right now as it stands, I don't want to go over $7,000 for him a car. So whatever you can find less than seven thousand, you winning because I am not gonna go over seven thousand dollars for for his first car. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. Now I do want it to be safe. I do want it to be you know a comfortable ride for him and all those kind of things. But you know we capped, we agreed that we would not go over seven. So whatever he can find or you know and then. Y'all, how about he all online and all on Craigslist? And I mean, he's looking hard. I said, okay, but first of all, you need to. Um, we paid for him to take his. Um, he has to have a um, learner's permit online course or whatever he has to take. So, um, so we pay for that, but he hasn't taken it yet. He was saying that he was gonna wait until after he got past finals, and then he's gonna start concentrating on that. So, yeah. So anyway, I guess the cat is out of the bag. We're gonna buy him a little car. So that, um, you know, he's going to be entering into his second year of college. So we're just kind of ecstatic and we're stoked about it. So um, he's been catching the bus all year. And so uh, I think he deserves to have a car. In my opinion, my baby deserves to have a car. So that's what we're going to work on. So anyway, um, I got some things to do. So I just wanted to come in right quick and just say, how you doing? And as my girls say, how you been? What's happening? What's going on? All that kinds of shit. Yeah. So anyway, on that note, family, I'm a hungry. It's all get out. Um, let's see. It is 12:38. Um, I need to go get me some some feed. I got to go hunt me down something real proper like. Um, Tiona got out of school at 12. Um, 12.30, so she should be walking in shortly. Um, she, her school is just around the corner. Um, so it don't take her, it shouldn't take her no more than about 20, 30 minutes to get here. And I know she's going to be out there lallygagging with her friends and shit. As a matter of fact, she's probably going to be calling soon to let me know that she's on her way home. So, um, let me go get us something to eat. And, um, that's what it is and that's what it look like. And that's what it do. On that note, family, I love you guys a, a lot, a lot. And I love you to life. On that note, family, I'm out. You guys have a good day. I love you.
Bye.